So I was teaching school and we had the opportunity to drive up to Wichita, Kansas to meet a well, well-known artist in the United States. He's a master. And I took my book to have it signed. I normally don't do that. I'm, not, I'm the person that does not get starstruck. I always make fun of my friends for getting starstruck when we'd go get book signings. You know, I'd make fun of them. You know, they're just people. <laughs> so, and so we drove up there. I took my book. And I was the first person in line. And he looked at me and he said, are you an artist? And I was like, my heart was like, yes, yes, yes. And my head said, no, I'm a middle school art teacher. And so I went home and I started thinking that if I'm gonna be an artist, I need to do it now because I'm not getting younger. My goal was always, when I retired from teaching, become an artist. That was always in the back of my head. And I had to make a decision if I wanted to be with all the pretty material things in the world. I had to, to let all of that go. And I don't regret it. You know, now sometimes I think, wow, it'd be nice to have a boat, <laughs> you know, go on the lake or... You know, it's, it's a trade-off. I wouldn't trade this for anything, no way. It's, I've been lucky, I don't know. It's, it's working out.